Moonlight Nana. Hello everyone, I'm Moonlight Nana and this is my 50 second Medivin pen pro tutorial video. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope it can help you start off your first step in your digital art journey. In the previous Medibank Pen Pro tutorial, you learned about the export all button of the open project dialog window, thus completing the subtopic of open project dialog and the main topic Medibank Cloud Service. For this Medibank Pen Pro tutorial video, I will finally explain about the anti-aliasing. Since I've already explained a little about it in the previous tutorial video, then I thought I should just go on ahead and explain it in depth about anti-aliasing. Besides, I've promised to cover this since the earliest of my tutorial videos. Remember, we are no longer under the topic of Medibank Cloud Service, so an internet connection is unnecessary for this. You can do this offline. And the same will go for uh, upcoming tutorial videos unless I say otherwise. If that's clear, then let's start. Okay, to start off, the anti-aliasing item is located at the function bar. Uh, and it is over here okay so uh, notice that there is a small box beside the uh, anti-aliasing item okay and this box is already ticked or marked the anti-aliasing is ticked by default but you can change this default setting which i'll show you how later but first let's see the difference between anti-aliasing and the no anti-aliasing First, with the anti-aliasing on, I'll draw a wavy line over here, okay? And then next, uh, I'll turn off this anti-aliasing by clicking once on over here. And then I'll draw another wavy line underneath the first one, okay? Like so. Now, can you see the difference? Maybe you can, but it's not so much uh, like... Like you cannot quite grasp it okay so how how about if i zoom in a little okay you start to see it now right this this one is the one with the anti-aliasing line and then this one is the non-anti-aliasing line okay what happens with the um, non-anti-aliasing line is that when the line is drawn or whenever you draw digitally what is drawn may not align perfectly with the pixels, okay? So when the drawing does not align perfectly with the pixels, it causes the drawing to appear as jagged, like this, or sharp, like what you see here, okay? Now this effect is called the aliasing. So if you add in the word anti to aliasing, then it means to not make the line look jagged or sharp. You want the lines to appear smoother or at least um, reduce the jagginess. Thus, digital artists come up with this technique called the anti-aliasing that adds partially transparent pixels along the edges of the drawing, which causes the drawing to um, blend with the background, hence creating a smooth transition effect between the drawing and the background. In short, anti-aliasing adds a soft um, fuzzy border around the edges of the drawing in this case the line so that the pixelated effect is reduced you can see uh, like this one this fuzzy thing is if you zoom in more okay so this is like fuzzy while this one is a jagged and like more sharp stay like thingy okay so then now you know the difference between the anti-aliasing and aliasing this is anti-aliasing and this one is aliasing you might think to yourself that keeping the anti-aliasing one is much better because it creates a smooth line that is um, nicer for the eyes to see. And yes, that's true. Anti-aliasing is much better to uh, it's much it's much better on lah when you draw digitally, and that is why it is ticked uh, by default. Okay, when you when you first open the Medibank Pen Pro software. Or application now the question is if that is the case then what is the use of aliasing what what use is the non anti-aliasing so who's using non anti-aliasing anyway uh, okay there are in fact people who need this aliasing okay 
Who are they? The answer is those who draw digitally for the purpose of having it printed out, especially the people who publish illustrations and comic manga in paper media. If you print out an illustration, especially by tonal ones, without switching off the anti-aliasing, then um, that could be a big problem when you uh, look at the paper print. So there are these three main problems. The first one is the MOA occurs, spelled M-O-I-R-E. A MOA effect is when there's a ripple appearance on what is supposed to be a flat or smooth surface. Now, uh, I don't have a suitable example to illustrate this to you, but you can check out Medibank's shown example about anti-aliasing effect. The link is in the description, yeah? The second problem of not using aliasing in your printed works is that some lines become thinner than original or that it will uh, disappear completely when printed. And then the third one, which I found out the painful way, is that when you print out your illustration or manga while using the anti-aliasing, then later on paper, the lines also got blurred. Okay, like this one, you see it's a little blur, and then this one is sharp. So when you use anti-aliasing uh, drawings and printed it on paper, you could also see these fine lines. Uh, I mean like these smooth, blurry lines. Okay. Uh, sometimes it's not visible, sometimes it's painfully obvious and this would make the manga look so unnatural and less sharper. Therefore, if you uh, draw digitally at first but plan to have it printed out on paper media later, you must, must remember to turn off the anti-aliasing. Right? To add to this, the anti-aliasing is an irreversible feature. Once you draw, with or without the anti-aliasing on, you cannot change the drawing into the other state anymore. Like these two lines. Huh? Okay, so uh, here I cannot change this anti-aliasing line, this anti-aliasing line into an aliasing line. Nor can I change this aliasing into an anti-aliasing line. It's already permanent. Therefore, please watch out for uh, this lah before you start to draw. If you are more to a person who draws to publish on digital platforms, then the anti-aliasing on, uh, on as like default is suitable for you. On the other hand, if you draw mainly to have it printed out, then you should set the anti-aliasing to off as the default. Okay, how to change the default settings of anti-aliasing? First, you head on to the file item at the menu bar and click it. In its drop-down menu, click the environment settings. A window will pop up and from here, check out the anti-aliasing item. There's a description for this item. Turn on the setting at startup. If you tick this box, meaning that you set the anti-aliasing to be automatically on as the default. But if you untick, untick this box, meaning that you do not want the anti-aliasing to be on as the default. So if you're a person who will print out the artworks or comic manga and needed the anti-aliasing to be turned off, go ahead and leave this unticked. Then proceed to click OK at the bottom of this window to apply the changes. And then we'll close this Medibank Pen Pro window. And then open it again. And then you will see that after reopening the Medibank Pen Pro, to, uh, Medibank Pen Pro uh, software or application, the anti-aliasing is not automatically ticked anymore. Okay, so this is how you change the default settings of anti-aliasing. Alright, now you know about the anti-aliasing there's actually uh, more to it than what I've explained to you, especially its influence in gaming graphics. But since we're only focusing on flat digital art, what I explained to you should be sufficient. All you need to know is this. Deactivate the anti-aliasing if you're gonna print out your artwork and activate it for all other purposes. Just as simple as that. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial video of Medbank Pen Pro. 
Please like this video and subscribe to Moonlight Nana channel or follow me on Facebook. But to note, I have not been active in Facebook for a while now, but please feel free to like my page anyway. And so together, we help each other in our art journey.